Um, I think our small businesses also, um, working families, should, uh, should be able to trust that their investments are not being funneled to these uh, malign practices um, in China. And while they continue, um, the PRC and um, CCP continue to kind of worm their way into a lot of um, international trade agreements, they are, they're not following the rules. They're simultaneously sidelining um, deals and promises that they've made. Um, that really undermines, obviously, our agricultural and manufacturing success and stability here in the United States, um, whether it's uh, digging in a cornfield in the state of Iowa um, to try to um, get those seeds out and reverse engineer them and, and steal that IP. They're trying to harvest Americans' um, information, uh, personal and financial data. Um, they're undermining our tech sector's ability to, to innovate. Um, it could not be clearer to me how blatant the um, attack, really, uh, the PRC has unleashed on our country to try to destroy our financial security here in the United States and undermine our critical industries. So um, I have a couple questions. I'm going to direct them to both of you, so feel free to give your perspective. But um, what would you say is the most concerning avenue that you've seen the Chinese used to uh, really exploit our U.S. capital markets and companies? Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Look, I, I will go back to the things that I, that, I, that I say are fundamental. Transparency and accountability. Mm -hmm. To the extent that you flout transparency and accountability, that undermines our capital markets and allows you not to make good investment choices. And stability, global financial stability. It's essential to investment flows and trade to the extent that the Chinese Communist Party would take actions that would jeopardize global financial stability. That is something of great concern. But do you think, obviously, it's a signal when they stop reporting information because it's so bad, correct? I mean, that, that's a signal to investors, hey, you probably need to pull back here because we're not getting that transparent and reliable data from the Chinese. Look, information is the lifeblood of markets. Transparent information is the lifeblood of markets. And I think that you are seeing, I would say, the investment community writ large respond to a view that the information they're getting is not as reliable as it maybe has been in the past or not as reliable as it was expected to be. So that's for sure. Yeah.